so I need to admit something to all of you. I thought this was a literal fever dream because I have been very sick for the last couple weeks, this time around with an actual fever that had me in bed for multiple days, just so out of it that I couldn't even read, couldn't really focus, couldn't really do anything but lay there with sometimes my baby guinea pig like a snuggling up with me, staring out the window and I think I read things, I think I watched things, I think I might have even worked on our zoo crafting series behind the scenes, as our patrons know, but I thought that the idea that chickens were in Planet Zoo was a dream. A dream to the point that it is really only now, I, I, by chance almost, I double checked it and it, 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 it's actually real. <laughs> there are, I mean, I think this is real. Let's see, I'm, 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 I'm sort of wondering if I'm still asleep, so I need you guys to let me know <laughs> if this is actually real life. But, Barnyard Animal Pack. That is not the birds of paradise that I was expecting, which adds to the surreality of it all. But maybe it's like reverse Wizard of Oz story. As now, instead of being swept away to a bird of paradise kingdom, we're going to the farm with the barnyard animal pack, which I have, other than the fact that there was a chicken on the thumbnail, seen nothing about, read nothing about, heard nothing about. So this is gonna be a surprise for me. Let's do this. I love the hay bales. Chicken! Oh, it's real! <gasps> Look at them! Oh my gosh, and you can walk with them. This looks like my little fairy tale. Oh, a goat. No way. That makes sense. That makes sense. I say no way because one ate my um my mitten once. Oh, alpaca! Oh my gosh, look, and you can- Chicks! Look at how cute they are! What? That's all I- No, I need more! All right, round two, and then we'll pop over and we'll see what all of the different blog posts and various announcements, most likely as usual with Planet Zoo, probably going to be rolling out with another lovely update that might have all sorts of interesting quality of life features to it. And here we go again. Chickens. Chickens. Can you squeak a, an extra dollar or two to get like a humongous variety of colors? Because Chickens. Also, I love that barn. Oh my gosh, do you see Sprouty? Oh, there's like a little planting station, like a little prop or like a plant propagating area. <gasps> Look at the size of those onions. That would kill me. I'm allergic to onions. Oh dear. All right, that's the Onion King all over again. Is this a little like, okay, I think it's a shed. For a second, I thought it was an outhouse. <gasps> if they, you know how we have vending machines for food and drink now? If they made outhouses for the restrooms that are like gigantic <laughs> and just like with the vending machines, it doesn't fill as much of your needs and um, the vending machines don't serve as many people as one, like at once, how hilarious would it be if that was an outhouse where just like one or two people could go, well, obviously one uh, person could go in at a time. That That's so funny. I love that idea. I also love the cornfields I'm seeing in the background and it looks like I don't think they're going to do petting, but I, I think that they're doing more interaction with the animals. They've got my attention. I'm a, I, I know it's silly, but kind of like with llamas, I'm a little nervous around goats because of a childhood experience in which a goat ate my mitten. Um, and I was stuck in the fence while I ate my mitten because it was eating my mitten through the fence. <gasps> Look at all the cute little alpaca! But unlike llamas, who have also traumatized me by spitting in my face as a child and then continuing to, like, aggressively pursue me all through my adult life, which Chips finds really weird. I do too, don't know why. I have no beef with alpaca. They're also not bovines, which I just noted I didn't see any bovines. And this is a farmyard animal pack. I didn't see any horses either. And if there are not domesticated horses, the biggest of any boat was missed. Because if there's anything I know you people are obsessed with other than wolves and warrior cats and dinosaurs on occasion, it's horses. 
<gasps> Look at the little hay bale seats. Okay, there's a lot of potential just for kind of something more fun and laid back and more kind of like building up a little village style that I can see. I love all the little chicks. They immediately remind me of all of the little peafowl chicks, which make me <laughs> immediately think that you might really have to worry about um, the, the population of chickens that you might end up with. And I bet that the roosters are actually going to be pretty fierce with one another. And you want to be careful with your rooster population. But let's see what other information we have out there for this apparently not a fever dream barnyard animal pack. Look at them. Look at this flock. They are so fluffy. They've got the chicken butt. They've got the tiny little peepers running around. They've got the, it looks kind of like people might even be able to lean down and kind of like look closer at them vibes going on. I didn't see this coming. I was still mentally on the more exotic train, but it might be really fun to put the chickens next to my peafowl because chickens are actually a very long-winded domesticated descendant of the um, red jungle fowl, which is still, I believe, native to some parts of the jungles of Asia. And I love that strut. I can't even pretend to not just be completely content because it's chickens. I, I don't know why I've always loved them, but I have. Maybe it's because they're one of the few barnyard animals that haven't traumatized me as a child. An alpaca. I have only met a group of alpaca once briefly in person. I I don't know how to explain how adorable they are. Like a fussy little cloud that kind of has wobble legs. Like a slinky. With like four slinkies. With a slinky neck. Stumbling around. With a bunch of fur covering it. That makes weird little like meow sort of noises. I, I can't even mimic it. It was adorable. Also, what is the size of this tree? I am very suspicious. I think it's an O. Maple, maple, maple. I think it's a maple tree from the look of it. But as usual, I'm kind of eyeing up some various bits and bobs of greenery. It is a little tricky at this late stage of many, many expansion packs and stuff packs. And, well, okay, that sounds like Sims. You know what I mean. <laughs> and many additions to the Planet Zoo franchise. It's a little difficult to tell the difference between the greenery at the stage, but... <gasps> I... <sighs> wasn't expecting colored pencils and I love those buckets. <laughs> I actually really love those buckets for um, for like having a, a trash can. If we don't get some sort of like a new child interactive activity that kind of looks like they're drawing to go along with a gigantic wall of colored pencils that stands out, you could say, I, I will be a little sad, but I do love the fencing. That's really cute. That makes me want to like set up all sorts of little gardens. That's a pig. <laughs> I love how I'm like admiring the fence and I look up and I'm like, wait a second, that's a pig. <laughs> I completely missed that. Oh my word. Oh, okay. It's going to be interesting to see which species they, they picked for the, um, the porcine variety there. Uh, look at that proud rooster. I am noting there's not another rooster in his domain. I think he appreciates that. Also, I can see a lot of just little countryside bits and bobs to kind of complete the image of looking out into the countryside. I can't tell if that's a bunch of corn growing in the distance or if I'm just biased to corn growing in the distance because I grew up in the middle of nowhere, Missouri and Kansas. There's corn. <laughs> I warned my husband Chips when we went to visit for the first time. It's, it's, you hit St. Louis and then it's two hours of corn. And he didn't believe me. Those of you in the know, let me know if you know. Uh, the alpaca, adorable. I really love the background of wherever this little setup is. I love the wooden gate. That's so cute. <gasps> Look at the little, like, oh, I think it's a planter, but I bet creative use could turn it into all sorts of different things. Uh, but I like that barrel planter on its side. I l actually think that the baby goats I might be following around a lot more than I thought I would, because they're quite cute. I like that wheelbarrow again. And the, like this wagon, uh, the hay bales definitely new. That looks kind of like a. I was gonna say a milk jug, but I take it back. Uh, but you can see like little bits and bobs coming together to help you build a lovely little farmyard, and that's a donkey. 
that's going to be <laughs> the hoofed edition that looks vaguely like a horse. I, do we have a donkey? I'm pretty sure we have like the Simoleon wild ass at least. And I mean, oh my gosh, is that a Highland cow? Is, I don't think I ever would have been so excited about the Highland cows before I got my guinea pig Clover, who's a mix of Andalusian and Peruvian guinea pig, which means that his fur does this over his face sometimes. And it's long and fluffy, and I didn't think I'd be excited about the cows. But I'm actually happiest to see them more than anything else because they're even the same color range as my baby guinea pig. I am horrifically biased. Uh, also, this is a beautiful, beautiful lake. What is going on here? I, I think I spy a couple new plants, but again, can be kind of difficult. Oh my gosh, there's more. That's a shape. That's what is that kind of gorgeous? Uh, wow, okay, can I please, like, look at this little trail. Look at that, that's so pretty. Mm, oh my gosh, are these like, okay, I have to see which specific type of sheep these are, but look at how the range of their home slopes. I really hope that they are able to make it up and down slopes like that because I've never been so inspired for making something that looks so rugged before for our zoos, but totally am now. And that's a lot of little pigus. That's a lot of pigus. Shocked, I have to say. Absolutely shocked that there's not a horse because I gesture broadly at all of you, but <laughs> I'm, 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 again, I, I still am not completely sure I'm like awake. <laughs> so let's see what's going on with the rustic charm of the countryside in Planet Zoo Barnyard Animal Pack. Bring rural beauty to your zoos and let your guests encounter seven beloved animals that have lived alongside humans for hundreds of years. Packed with personality and character, this collection includes the adventurous alpine goat, known for its nimble hooves and indomitable spirit, the Sussex chicken with its energetic demeanor, and the sweet and curious alpaca. Alongside these exciting new additions, the Barnyard Animal Pack also features 60 traditional rustic scenic pieces, along with a new campaign scenario in, in which much-loved characters return to transform a rundown farm into a successful animal haven for both uh, your animals and guests to enjoy. My guess is that uh, if you follow the campaign modes, then you know there's a bit of a story there and somebody recently retired and now they've gone to take care of the family farm is my guess. But seven incredible new animals. Welcome these social species, the stunning Highland cow with its heavy rich, rich coat and imposing horns, the Sussex chicken with its playful and curious nature, the Alpine goat renowned for their agility and sure-footedness and the alpaca and its distinctive slender neck and elegant posture. This pack also introduces the American Standard Donkey, Hill Radnor Sheep, and the Tamworth Pig. Craft homely habitats to let your guests get up close with these animals and perhaps even interact with them. What? If they're in the mood for affection. And then we've got the 60 plus scenery pieces with the rural feel using straw bales as benches for your guests to kick back and enjoy the views or placing repurposed cable reel tables for, uh, for those looking to have a light bite. This pack also includes several picturesque fences and gates alongside classic cast iron water pipes, wells, wind pumps, weather vines, and foliage, which is sure to elevate any habitat. The scenery and more will be sure to invoke a sense of the great outdoors for your guests as you invite them to explore the timeless allure of the countryside. And the exciting campaign scenario. Aha, I see where the farmyard is actually inspired by. Embark on a transformative journey as you breathe life into a once neglected farm. Team up with the returning character Tiffany Summers to create a thriving animal sanctuary. Take dilapidated barns and forgotten pastures and make them not only into a safe and comforting environment for the animals, but into a home. Watch the beauty of healing and restoration unfold among the rolling fields and gentle breezes of the New Zealand countryside. That explains it. <laughs> Because I, I was kind of getting like UK vibes, but not entirely. And I was trying to like pin it down. That, that, that explains it. That explains it. 
But that also means that I'm not going to feel bad if you happen to go ahead and you look at my chickens and they're just, you know, there might be a kiwi running around with them. Just saying. <laughs> but I did a quick check. I couldn't immediately see if there's any particular specific update that's going to be releasing alongside the Barnyard Animal Pack, which is coming in one day, 15 hours as of this recording, apparently. I have been sick for a while because I... It's the end of April? What? Boy. I hope you guys have plenty of oranges and keep your immune systems functioning because otherwise you might wake up and you're going to find a chicken in with your kiwi and you're not really going to understand what just happened here. But at least we can playfully roll along with all of the excitement and enjoy whatever we end up discovering together. And I, I mean... I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm awake, <laughs> but we'll have to see when our hens come home to roost. Ha! Huh. I think my husband just like flinched on the other side of the house from that sort of like sideways pun. <clears throat> we'll have to see when the uh, hens come home to roost in a couple days, I guess. So I'll see you guys then. Bye bye